In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add user authentication to your WeWeb app by adding the Auth0 plugin. So the prerequisite is that you signed up to Auth0 separately. And fret not, there's a, a free plan for up to 7,000 active users. So uh, you can, you know, it'll, it'll see you through for a while. Now, let's say we're a car rental company and we want to give our employees uh, the possibility to update the mileage on the fleet of cars they have in their location. We don't want everyone to have access to this page, only our employees. So in order to do that, we're going to add the Auth0 plugin. It's in the authentication uh, menu, connect Auth0 and add it here. So to find your domain uh, name, all you have to do is click on find it here assuming you've created an Auth0 account and are logged in. So it's this little API audience um, URL and you just copy paste it here. Now to add the token, you'll need to go back here, API Explorer, and copy this right here. Okay. Now all you have to do is click continue and choose the pages where you want pe that you want people to be able to access. So the page redirect, if the user is signed in for us, it will be the update mileage page. If the user is not signed in, it will be the login page. And we can continue right here. And for now, we are not going to define any um, user groups. So we can just go and manage access to pages. Um, the update mileage page right here. You don't want everyone to access this page. You only want authenticated users to access this page. So we'll save this here. And go back to our login page. And now we will go to the add button, we need to add a login uh, button that we can find here, auth0, and we'll drag and drop it here. And so now, if we preview this page, we can log in. If we don't have an account um, with auth0, we can sign up. So I'll sign up here with Choice plus test weweb.io and we'll just go and <laughs> activate continue here. And now if we go we're redirected to this uh, page where we can update fleet mileage. And if I go to my all zero account and look for user management users. You can see that a few seconds ago, um, the choice plus test at weweb.io user was created.